Good morning everyone, I'm just waiting for the strip sprayer Bills just texted me to say he is on his way and it'll take him like two minutes to get here so he can't be too far away. It's a pretty good vapor trail up there. Back in 2015 I actually went and worked over in America. I got a visa through Ohio State and I went and did the harvest for eight months. I got to drive combines and, and trucks, mainly combines and did a bit, little bit of truck driving. Uh, I got my license when I was over there. And I was based in Kansas at a little town called Colby. There are actually two quite big crews that are based out of there. But it was pretty much like dead set middle of America. I think the actual central or centre America was just down the road. I'm, I can't quite remember what that place was called, but it was, <laughs> it was pretty hard case. You didn't eat seafood there, but it was just uh, just so many vapour trails there. It was pretty unbelievable. It was, I suppose, there's planes going each which way direction and, and so many of them, but it just looked like they were playing noughts and cross. Oh, the strip till bar is over there. I did... I did say come down here, but oh, that must have got lost in communications. In the meantime, I will lock my cows away, although there's no cows here. I opened that gate, they were they were in there this morning, just having a bit of a graze, but there wasn't quite enough and they, they all just decided to walk back, well they were walking back to the cow shed, but they seen me coming, so they've all turned around. Something must have happened to it, it's actually just going back down the road now. Something can't be quite right, I'm just finished feeding in the calves, everything's done. I was going to go and catch up with them but I thought I'd get this out of the way first. Everything's fed and happy now but one thing I certainly like to do is change my mind and originally I had planned or I'd earmarked paddocks to put in maize for this season and I'm changing my mind a little bit so there's a block through there or there's three paddocks just by the house down there that I was going to put in and I'm still going to do one of them but the reason I dropped the other two out is because I really want to get these paddocks here the one I'm standing in and the paddock next door into a new grass because these ones just they just so underperform they're on the best country but just areas like this see the clover there's lots of clover in this paddock just there's not much grass and they just really, really underperform. But what I've come to do now is I need to take these pasture cages away. So we had been doing a trial with these, but because we're gonna spray them, we're gonna take these cages out for good now. There's five of them in here. I have picked one of them up. I've just got it on the gate. I'm gonna have to do one at a time, I think. I might get another one on top of that. But the, the trial was between this paddock, or a, a grass paddock, and the crop of chicory that we, we grow, which was just in, in the next paddock there. And the results actually haven't come back yet, so once I do know more, I'll be able to tell you guys. There were five farmers around Taumudu that did it. I was one of them. We are supposed to be getting together to have a bit of a catch up at the pub, I think, and, and talk about the results. But it was kind of an unusual year because it rained so much, it sort of skewed things in the way of the chicory I think sort of the grass outperformed or originally that's what we thought but yeah once I know more about it I'll tell you guys I feel like I'm one of those crab fishermen. I actually just got a text from Lana though saying that they are waiting on a part for the sprayer so something else to break. She's gonna text me once they're, they're good to go again. They'll be fine there because we're not actually gonna put them back out and it's a little bit annoying this paddock because the gateway off the road is here and the other gateway to the other paddock is straight through there. If it was in the other corner it would be better uh, but we won't be able to plant that corner because we still want to access through here. It's just really handy having this access, getting like the fur truck through. The chicory needs to get planted next door, which will be after the maize, so it's just it's just easier to leave it. Might even run the cows in there when they're in this break for the chicory because otherwise it's just gonna grow really long and, and weedy. But that would tidy it up and, and sort of keep it clean. And then once the maize is out, I'll spray it out and it can go into new grass. 
here with Tom. Tom's on the strip sprayer, but he's actually from England. Or do you call yourself a Scot? Nah, near enough, but of both. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's t Tom's actually from. Round Wooler, and when I was over in the UK, I went up to Wooler and worked at a farm called Doddington. They are one of the only dairy farms up there, so it's a very, very small world, and it is cool up there. It is, it is extremely cool. Love it up up north there. It is. It's a, it's a wonderful part of the world. Yeah, yeah, it is. But you do want to go back. <laughs> yep. No, I do want to go and see some people and see what it's like back home. See your, see your family back there. You're saying your dad's the biggest state, state manager. But he says there's not a lot going on, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, there was one thing I was just saying to Tom, we didn't find there's a lot of young people up north, everyone sort of, all the young guys went, went south, I guess. But but it is cool, and, and you've had a good time over yeah, here in New no, Zealand? Yeah, it's been real good, it's been really good. It's, it's an eye open, I'm seeing loads of different things, and it's, it's, it's fun getting away when you're young. The farming's it? different, eh? Yeah, no, it's definitely yeah. a lot different. We don't have quite so much crop farming over here, but but we like to know that people have a good time when they come out. It is, <laughs> it is cool, and you have, so. Yep, no, definitely. And you're gonna do? Are you gonna do a full season now with finches? Yep, and I'll stay for grass and maize. Oh, you'll so, stay for maize. Yeah, end of April. I think I'm contract then too, so I'll probably. And then you'll fly back. Yep, or go and go to the South Island, have a month down there. Yeah. See, see what it's like down there. Have you been down south yet? No, I'm planning on either going over Christmas or at the end of my contract. So. Uh, oh, cool. It is. It is very cool down south. But Tom's. Oh no, have you fixed the spray? Yep. Sprayer's ready to go. So the sprayer is ready to go, but there's a bit of rain on the way, and it is it is actually quite windy up top yeah. here. So, so we're going to can the spraying, but what he's going to do now is just shoot around and map everything. So then you might be back in tomorrow, Bill said. Yeah, and at least we can just get on with it and get it done. Yeah, because half the half the job's mapping, well, getting all the boundaries and stuff before he sprays it. So. Yep. So definitely speeds up the process. Yeah, yeah. We'll take <laughs> take a bit of that out of the way, and then tomorrow will be it'll be a dream. It'll be easy as. That paddock down there was in maize last year and it was mapped, or when they sprayed it last year he mapped it. The map's still on record so he doesn't need to do it which is pretty handy. There's two tanks on that tractor, so the front tank's got the roundup in it which makes the, the lines in the paddock brown and then it's got insecticide in the back one so they spray it onto to try and call, kill, is it the army worm or some weevil or something like that, I'm not quite sure but small, it is such a small world Tom comes from up the north there at, you know, Walla where we worked, it's, it's yeah, sort of unbelievable. Half the reason we went up there was because I've got family, or well, had family up there and, and I've still got distant relatives up there, I don't think they're that distant but, but yeah, it just, just sort of blows me away. But the carving cows are right here. And there's only there's only five left. We are we are getting through them. We had one today. We had two yesterday and two the day before that. So numbers have been have been going down quite fast actually. And I think that that cow there she she's carving right now. So we'll be down to four, which which will be good. But two of them two of them sort of haven't bagged up a lot. So they might be might be a little bit away. But these other these other two. The one having a drink up there, she, she's she got a bit of a big udder. And the last cow that I thought was going to carve, which was on the 27th of this month, and it's the 11th today, so it would have been, uh, you know, 20 days away, or, or there thereabouts, she actually carved yesterday, I think it was. So that's pretty awesome. That effectively cut our carving short by about 10 days, or 10 days earlier than I thought it was going to be. So she's bagging up, so she won't be too far off. And this girl... She's, all right, yep, yeah, no, I reckon she's definitely carving. No, she is carving. See if they get a little bit hollow in there, it's because the calf sort of pushes up. And then this girl's overdue, so she won't be too far away. That is, yeah, bagged up big time. He hasn't got much left to do, just map this paddock and the one over there, and then he's all done. But what we're actually going to do, or what I want to do, is you can see the wheel marks there. Sorry, it's a bit windy. That wind's really picked up. But there's a fence that runs up there. We're actually going to move that this way to 
where the edge of the maze will be so somewhere in here sort of square this paddock up so there's more in there because that'll be two hectares this will be a hectare and then the paddock on the other side that'll be two hectares so everything's pretty even but that'll look better and half the reason I wanted to do this paddock or it needed doing this grass isn't actually that old like it's it's actually not too bad it did get a little bit, bit pugged in the winter time but there's this big strip through the middle through the middle here and they missed it when they planted it so it got roller drill but this strip got missed and they came back and planted it but it's just always been weedy and it never really filled out very well so this will this will fix that problem it's late afternoon now and the winds died right down there's actually none at the moment but it is raining you only need two hours of drying time for roundup and then you can can get water on it it would have been nice to have got it all done today but it was just too windy at least we got one of the paddocks and at least if we get a little bit of rain tonight we are we are supposed to get about 15 20 mils if we did get that all the paddocks are, are fairly flat nothing's too too hilly so we should be able to get around it they are planning on on finishing it off tomorrow but i guess we'll, we'll have to see what the weather does We ended up getting about 18 at mil, so pretty bang on, and that was two days ago. We couldn't spray yesterday because there's still showers coming through, and it was a little bit windy, but this morning's not too bad, so Tom's cracking into it. He's just got this paddock and one more, and then he is done. But what he's actually doing in here, because it was in maize last year, is he's not spraying in the strip, spray strips, so he's actually just shunting it over 250 mil, so we're... So we're sort of planting in a, in a new spot and then they can do that three years in a row and then they come back to the original otherwise it just gets a little bit too far away from the fence so so pretty cool pretty sure they built the bar on that themselves it's an eight row which matches all the planters now you just got a new Vatistad planter this year like last year's one so they're both eight row and then there's also a new strip till bar that's turned up over there too which is eight row but he used to have an old Amazon 10 row maybe they traded that in and it's funny though because all the, the choppers are 10 row so <laughs> but this is what you want you want the planters to match this i'm gonna leave tom to it he's doing his headland now because i'm heading down to mervs to catch up with him i want to have a quick look at the heifers and see how they're doing we're only a month out from mating so just want to sort of have a glance at them and see what they look like hello girls so this lot's the the ones that came here first the first lot no these are the second lot yep. so we had these ones for the summer Looking good though, look at that, it's nice. Oh, yeah, but then I'm biased because I'm yeah, there's so many friendly ones down there, you're gonna hate me. Oh, I think they look good. That's a beautiful heifer, that one, and that one, 69. Yeah, they're looking really good. Oh, that 34, she's a tank. Oh, you're gonna see some tanks soon. I'll go back, I'll grab my scales. She's on, that's good to see. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we want to see. Here's the other mob. Look at the tucker they're in though. This is unreal. And these came down first. So these were sent down, start of December. Oh, look at that. Turkey egg. <laughs> Random. Doesn't feel rotten. Oh, they're looking good. They're looking real good. Merv's been telling me for a, for quite a while now that I'm gonna have a few problems with these girls. There's how many? How many do you reckon are in here? Probably four or five. Uh, that are just that are just super friendly, over friendly, and this is one of them four, here. At least, at least four of them. Sure. Thirty-three. Thirty-three, forty-seven, ten, and forty. Forty-seven, which is here. Which is which is awesome to see. We love love friendly stock. They're looking good though, they're looking awesome. Here's 40. So these were 
doing better, or they were a little bit heavier than those other ones when they when they got weighed. And just goes to show that when I sent them down earlier, they, they did do better through the, the summer than keeping them at home, but they, they should have, well, two, they're on better tucker. It was good catching up with Merv, gave him a few key dates because we are still mating the heifers so I'll explain more about that as we go but they're looking good anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really interested in doing it this year and it's going to be it's going to be exciting. I'm glad we got that spraying done as well, that, that job ticked off because it actually turned really, really windy this afternoon, it doesn't seem that bad here but, but it is. Give it a couple of weeks though and it should start to look like this. But that will wrap it up for this video guys, so don't forget, give it a like, that'd be awesome, and apart from that, see you next time.